Travis Kels addresses Taylor Swift's beautiful impact on football fans Travis Kels takes a close look in the mirror. In a recent interview, the Kansas City Chiefs tied and reflects on his public persona, recalling a high-profile year that included back-to-back -back Super Bowl victories and a romance with one of the world's most recognized music artists. In a pre-Super Bowl 58 radio interview with Fox Sports reporter Laura Ackman, which is currently circulating on social media, Kels is asked about his romance with Taylor Swift and how he thinks others perceive him. The 34-year-old athlete stated that he hopes spectators will witness a lot of happiness and a lot of hard work additionally. He was able to persevere through some ups and downs, some new challenges in life, and just still having that love for life all throughout the journey. Swift has been a regular at Kelsey's games since September, helping him reach the 2024 Super Bowl. Her participation in the NFL has sparked a fan frenzy and, in many wonderful cases, strengthened connection between football-loving fathers and their kids who adore Swift. I'm very aware, Kel said of the phenomenon. Obviously that is primarily because Taylor's in my life now, and we got her a part of Chief's kingdom, and sure enough, that brought an entire entourage of human beings who just want to support her, and love too it's been wonderful to witness the father-daughter stories that have emerged as a result of all of this. Kels noted that he is still focused on football, and making sure that I'm accountable on the field, which explains why he takes a guarded approach to discussing the relationship. But at the same time, he said, I know what me and Taylor have is special, so I get it. Swift was most recently in attendance to celebrate Kels's latest Super Bowl victory in Las Vegas, Nevada when the Chiefs defeated the 49ers. The 34-year-old karma singer was among those who flocked to the field after the game to express their congratulations, and the couple exchanged a few happy kisses in front of the cameras. Later, they however, the diva was not there at the Chiefs post-game parade in Kansas City, Missouri, last week, when gunfire erupted, killing one person. Following the tragedy, both she and Kels made significant donations to the victims' families. Swift's era's tour continues with a show in Sydney, Australia, this weekend, followed by a six-night visit in Singapore next month. On April 19, she'll release The Tortured Poets Department, her 11th studio album. Kelsa's off-season plans currently involve working as an executive producer on an upcoming film. Taylor Swift is expressing her sorrow and making a significant donation to the family of deceased Kansas City radio DJ Lisa Lopez Galvin. The 34-year-old singer gave $100,000 to the family of Lopez Galvin, who died after being shot during the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl victory parade on Wednesday through Goffin. The fundraiser's initial target was $75,000. Swift commented on her donation, which was divided into two $50,000 installments, saying, Sending the greatest regrets and condolences in the aftermath of you sad loss. With love, Taylor Swift. On Wednesday, gunfire erupted in downtown Kansas City, Missouri just as the Chiefs' Super Bowl victory parade ended. The team had been enjoying its second consecutive Super Bowl victory. Swift has been a regular at Chiefs games this season, despite her continued affair with the team's tight end, Travis Kels. However, she was unable to attend the parade because she was in Melbourne, Australia, for the latest leg of her era's tour. On Thursday, Kansas City Police Chief Stacy Graves provided a thorough update on the incident. Graves said that 23 individuals were shot near Union Station, with one person dying. Lopez Galvin, a mother of two, avid chief supporter, and famous DJ and radio host on KKFI's 90.1 FM has been identified as the deceased. She was 43. We're still learning about her, but we know she's loved by many, Graves said at a news conference. To her family and friends, we are with you and we are working tirelessly to investigate her murder. Graves also stated that a preliminary inquiry found no links to terrorism or violent extremism. Graves claimed that the mass shooting was the result of a quarrel between many people that resulted in gunfire. The other 22 shooting victims range in age from 8 to 47 years old, with at least half of them under the age of 16. The investigation, which is still active and ongoing, has resulted in three arrests. According to officials, two of the three are juveniles. Officials also according to the Kansas City Star, Lopez Galvin was shot in the abdomen, but died from her injuries